Right guys, so it's been a while since I last saw you, or oh, since my last video, apologies for that. I think some upgrades in tech were much needed and they've come about this Christmas, so hopefully now I'll be able to get videos out on a much more regular basis. I've loved doing them in the past, it's unfortunate it's taken me around about six hours to edit them, so it just meant it was too time consuming with a full time job. Um, anyway, excuses aside, I'm back now. Um, just finished watching Titanic, my yearly viewing, normally on Boxing Day, it's always on, always have a little cry, because I'm a big girl. Um, so that's just finished, got that out of my system, and now I thought I'd just kind of have a bit of a chat with you guys about some of the goals I set for myself at the start of the year, and how I've, how I've got on, really, uh, where I'm at at the moment, in terms of my strength, um, and just overall what my goals are now for the next, uh, you know, next year ahead. So... This year, I've very much focused on powerlifting, something I've never really focused on before. Um, it's I've always been a bodybuilder or bodybuilder or physique focused. Um, I had a physique focused training style, and um, to be honest, it's, whilst that's been fulfilling, you, I thought you know it's now time to you know put some back, enjoyment back in my workout, so I can really see how I'm progressing. And I thought well, the best way of doing that is. You know, if I'm imp improving my strength, then obviously strength tends to correlate towards size. Not always, but it tends to correlate towards size. So if I feel like I'm getting stronger, then, or I am getting stronger, then I'm probably getting bigger as well. So all in all, it helps body both bodybuilding and strength. So my goal at the start of the year, I started at, uh, I think I was, my three lift combination, I'm going to talk in pounds and I'll probably flash up at the bottom uh, what that is in kilos or stone, just in case you're interested. So my three lift total um, currently was around about 850 pounds, um, which actually, if you're not quite sure, that's not very strong, really. You, you know, you probably go to the gym quite a bit for a couple of years or whatever, and but you've obviously not really been focusing on strength as your main priority. Um, so my goal for the year was to get to a thousand pounds. I put 150 pounds on in strength, which is quite a lot, but bearing in mind it was my first real year of focusing on power lifting, or actually to be more specific is probably power building, which is a more new way of training, um, which combines both power lifting and bodybuilding. Um, and basically the way it kind of works is by starting off with a lot of the big compound, powerful movements at the start of the workout whilst you're fresh. And then as the workout progresses, you move into the more accessory bodybuilding, isolation ex exercises to focus on certain muscle groups just as the workout progresses. So that's the way I've been training this year and it's been really fulfilling. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and actually, so the thousand pound goal I set myself at the start of the year for the three lifts, so that's, if you're not sure, squat, bench and deadlift, one rep max combined, added together. It was to get to a thousand pounds, obviously, and I got there in June. I got there in June, which is absolutely amazing. I was buzzing at the time. I made significant gains, really, in strength and probably in size as well. Although I didn't take my measurements, um, but yeah, so I was, I was absolutely just blown away, really, with the progress that I managed to make. Um, so I thought, well, do you know what? That's that's. I put on 150 pounds onto the three lift total in six months. I'm going to push to try and get to 1,200 pounds at the end of the year. So another 200, which would be massive. That'd be 350 pounds on what I was, um, what my my raw total was this time last year, which is incredible. Um, and I have got to. So I never, did, I haven't done all three lifts in one session since. Actually, one of, the, one of the videos I did here, maybe April, um, I've got it up. You can view it if you want to see what I did at that time, how strong I was. Um, and I've got to. To be honest, actually, my progress has been fairly slow. I made some serious, serious gains in about th between July to September sort of time. But the last sort of three months or so, four months, I really don't feel like I've progressed very much. Um, but nevertheless, um, I did the three um, separate uh, three exercises on different days. It's just as part of my chest day or push day, pull day, and then my leg day. And my raw total came out at eleven hundred and forty-six pounds, so fifty-four pounds off that twelve hundred um, 
that I wanted to achieve, which is still incredible. That's £300 I put on my world total. Absolutely, you know, so I'm absolutely buzzing about that. I'm still hoping there's a chance that I might be able to get to the gym in the next couple of days. You probably hear I'm sniffling quite a bit and not feeling amazing. Um, but I'm hoping I'll be able to get over that or push through it and just give it one more go before the year's out to try and push and um, get to that raw total. And actually, I feel like it's potentially doable in the next go around. It's actually the last couple of weeks, and I've only actually had like one proper squat session where I've actually moved from squatting high bar, so where the bar is very much at the top of your neck, to low bar, so a little bit lower down on your back where it just sits, sits on the shelf there. So it sounds like a small difference, but a lot of powerlifters have been advocating that that is the best way. You have to uh, squat like that if you, you know, you're going to push serious, serious weight. It's very difficult. If you're at high bar, it's, a lot of the work is through your quads. Whereas if it's at low bar, then you can utilize your hamstrings and your glutes a lot more. I did one session doing low bar and it hurts because it gets your wrists in a really funny position. Your shoulders are well back. It, the, you're not used to the bar sitting where it is. It, it hurt quite a bit. But straight away, I went from a 150 kilo um, squat where I felt like I'm shaking and I'm really going to struggle to get this to 160. And I did it four times, not in one set, but I did it four times and it felt really comfortable. And I'm just really excited to get back in the gym now and give give it another go and see whether I reckon I can probably put on at least another 10 kilos just in the next session from squatting low bar, if not, maybe a little bit more. So I'm really, really excited about where my power of things going. And um, you never know, might still be able to reach that 1,200 pounds. We'll have to see in the next session. And I'll try and get that uploaded as well um, in the next day or two if I manage to get to the gym over the next couple of days. Um, so anyway, so that's it. It's been a really successful year. Looking more forward, uh, I just want to talk a bit about goal setting and how to kind of approach it. I think, you know, especially if you're a more advanced lifter or someone who's been working out for a significant period of time and taking it quite seriously, progression can be really, really slow. You know, it's something I've talked about in um, previous videos where, you know, your first year of bodybuilding, you can probably put on 20 pounds of pure muscle. If you eat properly and train properly, you can put on 20 pounds of pure muscle, that's the newbie gains, but you could probably put on 20 to 30 pounds of raw muscle, which is incredible. For me now, I'm training just as hard, if not harder than ever, and um, eating really well, eating sufficient amount of protein, right amount of carbs, etc., to be on this caloric surplus where I can gain muscle. And you know, if I put on two pounds, three pounds maybe of lean muscle at the end of a year, that's been a good year. That's a really good year. You know, so you know your progression now. At my stage of lifting, where I've been going to the gym for such a long period of time, is so slow, you know. So, the way I think it's best to approach it in terms of goal setting, there are th three cycles that I like to set for myself, and it's a way of approaching goal setting in general. There's your micro cycles, meso cycles, and macro cycles. So, micro cycle is just a very short term goal. So, for me, that means I want to actually just look, I'm you know, coming out the other side of Christmas. And I want to just lean up for a holiday in India. It's actually an Indian wedding that I'm going to um, with my girlfriend's family at the end of January. So it gives me around about four to five weeks before we go. And I'd say I'm, I'm not in bad shape at the moment. I'm probably 14 stone around about 14% body fat, maybe. It's a bit of a guessing game, not exactly sure. But around about 14% body fat, I'd say. What I'd like to do in that five weeks, cut around about a pound to a pound and a half a week. So if we're going to lose around about six, let's say six pounds, say six pounds, and so get down to 13 and a half um, over the next four or five weeks, then that's my goal. So I'm going to have a bit, a bit of a cut, keep my, cut my calories down, uh, my um, carbs right down, uh, but not too drastically that I start wasting away muscle and um, just be really strict on my diet. That's what the short term goal is going to be for me, is just to look as good as I can for that holiday. So that's a micro cycle. Meso cycle is more of a mid-term goal. Now they normally say a micro cycle is actually only one to two week goal. A meso cycle is around about a month goal. And a macro cycle is maybe a couple of months, three, four months at the most, which I don't really agree with, especially for someone who's been training for as long as I have. Maybe for someone who is new to the gym and making really quick gains, like really, really just every single week is improving. 
then maybe that works. But for me, all of those are just a bit too short. So a micro cycle for me is around about a month, hence the India trip. Then my meso cycle is going to be to do, is actually more of a six month goal. So in June, July, I want to do my first physique competition, which I'm really excited for. I've never done one before. It's going to be a, mess, a massive, massive mental challenge to be able to push myself to stick to the diet. And, you know, I'm expecting to be a massive, massive challenge. It's going to be grueling, I think, to be honest. Um, but I'm up for it. I feel like I've been training for around about six years now, or coming up for, and I feel like my body, for, like now I feel like I'm carrying the amount of muscle necessary to be able to compete at that at a decent level, uh, naturally, obviously. Um, so for anyone that's interested, it's not going to be sort of body, I'm not in that, I haven't got that physique for bodybuilding. Um, and more about aesthetics, so it, it's in board shorts or swimming trunks. Uh, it's not. I'm not going to be wearing a little gold um, thong thing or anything like that. Posing pouch, um, none of that going on. So, yeah, that's that's my aim. I'm going to try and find myself a show to do probably in the next month or so. Get myself signed up, pay the fees, etc., and then I'm accountable for it. And I have to push myself to do it because uh, I don't want to embarrass myself, obviously. So that's my meso cycle and um, macro cycle is going to be um, at the end of next year. I think more realistic, uh, probably a realistic goal is for me to be having a raw total powerlifting of 1,250 pounds. So from where I am at the moment, that's putting on another 100 pounds, which obviously this year I've made a lot of progress very quickly because I'm quite new to powerlifting and progression happens quite quickly I'm expecting progression now to be a lot more steady so if we can put another hundred pounds on my raw total in a year that would be really really good going I'll be really happy with that and also I feel like I'm at that stage then where I'd like to push myself that I'm going to do a powerlifting competition in November December so flip the bodybuilding on its head or physique focus on its head and do a powerlifting competition November December so 11 12 months from now so I'm really excited for the next year coming up. I'm going to push myself harder than I ever have done before. Uh, be more strict to myself than I ever have been before. Um, I've always kind of like intuitively eaten in the past, which kind of means you kind of have, you know a bit about your nutrition, so you know how many uh, grams of protein, carbs, and fat are in chicken or rice or whatever it might be. So you're kind of keeping a bit of an idea in the back of your mind as to how much protein, etc., that you're taking on board. Um, but I'm really going to hold myself accountable to it this year and be really, really strict on myself and um, try and push myself harder, especially for the physique part that has to be super on point. Powerlifting, things can be about getting myself in a caloric surplus and really just trying to push as heavy a weight as possible. But obviously there are weight classes, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful there as well. So I'm really excited and I think it's, uh, it's going to be a really interesting year coming up now for me. Um, I've never done a powerlifting show, never, oh, it's a powerlifting show, a powerlifting competition or a physique show um, so yeah I feel like I'm, I'm ready for it I'm really excited it's gonna be it's gonna be really really interesting so um, apologies in advance to especially my girlfriend where I'm probably gonna get a bit neurotic about what I can eat and all the rest of it but it kind of goes alongside the lifestyle of um, the fitness fanatic I suppose so that's kind of it for this one guys I just I wondered well, let me know in the comments. Is this kind of interesting? I don't know, talking about sort of goal setting. What are your goals for the year? Be interesting to know. Um, if you're in the Watford area, I'm more than happy to always to work out with anybody. Obviously, wouldn't ever dream of charging. I just kind of, I just want to see people get into the best shape they can do and be really driven about their fitness. So, if you are in the Watford area, you know, hit me up on here or on Instagram or whatever, and it'd be great to hear from you and um, come train with me. I'd love it. You know. So anyway, guys, take it easy, and I will see you all next time. Oh, and before I go, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like. I've got like 12 subscribers at the moment. It's not great, but I'm, I know this is very much a, a new channel, and I haven't been on here for a few months, so it's my own fault. But if you guys could subscri subscribe, that would be amazing. And if you hit like, then it gets the, the video sort of sh shared around a little bit. And if you want to share it on social media, then I'd love you forever. So <laughs> thanks very much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you all next time.